very important subject matter, where does conscience originate? Uh, most people don't realize that the legal system recognizes those that act under the supremacy of God, but the majority of people who do not realize that operating the legal actually violates conscience because it's dealing with violence. Um, we, we've already talked about that, that uh, the, uh, the whole system of arms or a club is the rule of enforcement by arms and violence. So the system that you are operating in seems very aggressive and extremely uh, non-peaceful because that's where it originates. It, it, isn't, uh, it isn't that there isn't good people out there, it's just that they haven't awoken uh, to the mind of God that they were given as a gift at birth. Uh, so where does conscience originate? Well, when we look at uh, Black's Law 4th edition, it has a very interesting phrase that basically translates, conscience is called from con and sio to know, as it were, with God. So did the legalists not realize the direction they were going, or did they believe they were going to be looking after beasts? They were going to be looking after people who want human legal rights to do things that are contrary to what is natural. And that is why what is going on in the medical world right now with the enforcement upon legal bodies, something that people don't realize has nothing to do with their natural body. And therefore, if they're bearing a legal body name, then they are bearing the burden to receive what goes with that legal body. Very, very hard for people to comprehend this because it's like being dropped a bucket of ice cold water on them at a moment. Um, and therefore it has shocked them to realize that they've just woke up into a very bad nightmare of legal. So we're gonna go further. We're gonna go into the scripture because there's a lot of very good scriptures that deal with this subject matter. And so we're going we're gonna to start basically in the book of Peter. And in the book of Peter, at 1 Peter 2, verse 19, it reads, For this is thanksworthy, if a man for conscience towards God endure grief, suffering wrongfully. So we realize if you're doing the right thing and you're surrounded by a mob, of people who want to do what is wrong, well, you will suffer even though it's wrong. You're not suffering because you're doing the, uh, basically something that is really uh, against anything to do with uh, moral thought or conscience. You're suffering because you're surrounded by people with no conscience who want to do something unconscionable. So therefore, welcome to the legal world that doesn't seem to know the difference between what is right and wrong. What is truth and fiction? So the next scripture we're going to read is 1 Peter 3, verse 16. And 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 16 reads, Having a good conscience, that whereas they speak evil of you, as of evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. So, they basically are going to react because now you're saying you're of God, you're a Christian, and therefore you speak in truth. You're not speaking in fiction. You wouldn't do something that would be contrary to truth, and therefore you're basically going to be centered out. You're separating yourself from the fiction, from the world of those who consent to do what is wrong. When we go to Acts 24, verse 16, it says, and herein do I exercise myself to have always a conscience void of offense toward God and toward men. Now, most people don't realize in Canada, you have no right to bear arms. You have no right to do anything that would be violent or anything that would actually pose that you're trespassing on someone. Because the surname is an arms title, you have no right to bear it. Therefore, you would not do something that would show that you would offend. It is 
a license to break the law that you're participating in, you're going against good conscience. And basically all Christians would realize that they could not participate in war in any form. And the surname represents not only arms, but commerce. It's a tag name used for being branded as a participant in the commerce. Commerce comes from immersement, which is war. That's where mercenary comes from. Also the word prostitute, hireling, all these words all connect. And that's why we do a series of these words during the week to get you updated on understanding the words that you're using that you may not have been aware of the meaning of. So the final scripture we're going to read is Psalm 98 verse 9. In Psalm 98... Verse 9, very important scripture. It says, Before the Lord, for he cometh to judge the earth, with righteousness shall he judge the world and the people with equity. Now, why did he use that term equity there? Well, because equity means conscience. So when we look at even the definition of equity in Black's Law, you will find that it relates to conscience. Doing what is right and not doing something that would be of an immoral direction. So do you know the difference between right and wrong? Do you have a conscience? Well, then you would have the knowledge of God.